Greetings from the planet Earth to all you YouTubers out there. I just left the chat chilling with some really great people, you know. It's nice to see people that love Jesus. It really is, right? And I highly recommend Kathy's, you know. Check her out, right? And she'll 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 read the comments and all. She's a really nice lady, right? You know, uh, a guy came in there from India. This is really raucous for saying this, you know. And, you know, he just recently came to Jesus and he was wondering if we had a group. Many forget. And I can speak with authority on this because God healed me. Did Jesus, yes, Jesus talked to me when he healed me March 12th, okay? This year, 2018. It's a little bit ago that God is about faith and a personal relationship, right? That's it. You don't have to go to some building. You don't have to follow some religion of men to have a personal relationship with Jesus who loves you. He's healed so many people. In fact, that's one of my callings. I laid hands before for Jesus, but I stopped. And ironically, about the same time I stopped, I've been on a bit of time out. And he finally trusted me again to put me back on the job laying hands for him and preaching on these end times, right? That's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do my best, right? See, so many out there are misled by others, you know? And he's thinking you have to be in a group or something to, you know, to, to know anything. And that's what they, the doctrines of men, clouding people, telling new believers you got to do this, you got to do that to, to get, get to know anything about God. When all the, the whole time, God has wanted a personal relationship with his children, right? You know, so when you're talking to new believers and trying to tell them about that, you got to remember to let them know that Jesus and God are after a personal relationship, not just reading the book. You need more than that. You, you need to know, yes, it's an introduction to Jesus, and, you know, it tells you a good way to live, but there's more to it. It's an introduction to Jesus, and that's your job out there when you're talking to others. To let him know it's that you know God is about faith and a personal relationship because the faith of a mustard seed can move mountains because that was what I was doing I was checking myself and wondering if I had the faith of a mustard seed even after everything I've seen and done I was still checking myself because I'd wondered why I was on the shelf so long and I wasn't thinking about the mistakes I made because I stopped doing the one thing because of a bad shepherd that was yelling at me and some bad Christians he said I'm going to go do something else for God without asking him. Right? See, I learn, I learn the hard way sometimes, right? I need to li think and learn something, right? And God showed me mercy, right? These are all about faith and a personal relationship. Because I don't go to buildings. You know, I don't bow down to men. You know, I'm, I'm disabled, right? You still have to cut a little bit disabled, but that's coming soon. I feel better than I've ever felt in my life. I feel like I can crush a rock sometimes in my hand. I get energy. I can go for days without really being tired, right? As long as it's for the Lord's business, I'm glorified in the Lord. Hey, I got all the energy you could leave. I mean, I'm like, I'm like Samson right now. Samson's strong. That's how I feel. Because when I'm glorifying God, oh, I get charged right up. There's a wonderful sister in Christ called Bernice, right? Now I'm giving her a shout out. You see right here on the screen, hardship of God testimony for a viewer. That's only the beginning. And this sister, brothers and sisters, she's got a story to tell. God healed her eye, by the way, but she had a really rough life. I had a bit of an interesting life. We all do. Some of us have harder lives than others, right? But we don't realize God is putting us through tests sometimes. Think of Job, right? Uh, will you curse God when a little hardship comes? Maybe God bless you, but if he takes a little bit away, are you going to curse him or are you going to sit back and still praise his name, you know? And the fact that when disabled people can turn around and give Jesus the glory every day, that should wake you up. We're doing it for a reason and we're not cursing God because we're glorifying his name because we know the power and love of our Jesus, right? And you need to spread that message. Out there you do that Jesus wants a personal relationship with you it's all about faith and a personal relationship because without faith you have nothing you know that's a straight word if you don't believe in God you know and do right by him right you know I mean what do you got honestly nothing right because you know that's it you got to have faith in the Lord right if you don't have faith in the Lord what do you got nothing at the end of the day what do you got nothing because you can't stand there when your time comes like my wife Janie who just went there June 26 right now, I know she's with the Lord, right? But you're going to stand there and say, hey, you don't exist, so you can't do anything. You think that's going to work? No. The person needs to know that God is real and that they want a personal relationship with them like any parent does with a child. And here's a new, new guy in Christ thinking that it had to be part of a group. That, that, that the old mentality of the dogma and doctrines of men eh, jumping on the heads of young Christians trying to find Jesus, right? That, that is so much of a problem because it can lead them astray Watch out for the false shepherds. They don't know this. And somebody's got to tell them these things to watch out for false shepherds. Read the Bible for yourself, right? And, you know, and you can fellowship and all that. Yeah, nothing says you can't go, but to beware because 
five of the seven churches were not cool, even though they might have thought they were. And, and God is striving for the personal relationship. When Jesus was on the cross, just passing there, the veil was ripped. And it was only the, the, the head priest that could go in there once a year to the Holy of Holies, right? But when Jesus died, it got ripped from the top down. That means he opened the Holy of Holies, communication with God for everyone. You can sit back and talk to God anytime you want. He may not answer you, right? But if you seek his face, he tells you and study to show yourself approved and talk to him every day. Psalms 113, right? From the rising of the sun to the setting, I take it 24 hours. And he's rocked my world like you, you can't even imagine. I can't even imagine how the hell I ever lived before. It's a miracle. He didn't smite me down. But he kept on bringing me back. I died. He brought me back. And it just a whole bunch of things. It just, and I know some of you got the same thing, right? God's been moving in your life. Even though you were a little bit lost, he was there for you. So let's do our part and help these new people in Christ. No, you don't belong. You don't need to belong to some cult or some group or anything to have a relationship with Jesus. All you have to do is talk to him and love him. That's all. Obey his word, of course, right? But you talk to him and love him. That's the personal relationship he's asking for from you. And many of you Christians out there forgot that. That's why you need to talk to Jesus today to get that personal relationship going. Because it's more than just book learning. Look at the Pharisees. They knew all the words. But Jesus was standing right there in front of them. And they knew him not. He was doing wonders right before him. And you know what? They wanted to kill him, right? And you know, they end up doing it, right? But what did he do? Help everybody? Come on now. So when you're talking about Jesus, do it right and remind people that he wants a personal relationship with you. Just a word for, because I saw this and I thought, man, you know, it's at the end of the chat. And I don't know if he, could, he read what I typed or not, right? I mean, you can see it or not. We need to tell these new people about this personal relationship so they don't get lost along the path and stumble away. Bye-bye.